about to check out this video that you guys sent to me. If you want to be able to do that, you need to get yourself on my Discord. Do it now. The link should be in the description. Do it now. <laughs> While you can before I stop allowing new people to come on here, man. We having fun. We having fun. We checking out this video. It might not be fun. What the heck are you talking about? Let's see. Check out this video from Black Conservative Perspective. Is woke student protests erupt over Ron DeSantis defunding diversity and inclusion in universities? Let's just, yo, yo, he's smiling mad hard in the thumbnail too. Let's check this out. Hit the like button, drop some comments, and also remember to check out the original video. Let's go. No, so no one study at college no more. Maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I'm tripping. You don't don't study. It seems like me not going wasn't a, <laughs> such a bad decision after all. If this is what went down, I'd have been mad. I know how I am with noise. I right? imagine if I lived on campus and I had to hear this. Hey, hey. All right, guys. So once again, we got to talk about a woke meltdown over Ron DeSantis making Florida uh, the state where woke goes to die, which is what he promised he would do. Right. And that's exactly what he's doing. OK, as the wokes were upset and pissed off uh, just a week ago. Uh, when Ron DeSantis uh, rejected a woke African American studies course because it included nothing wrong with that, nothing wrong with that. They try to get him to pass a woke course. Don't get up out of here with that. A chapter in lessons That's on right. queerness and all types of you know stuff that really has nothing get to do with uh, African American history. Uh, of course, they melted down over that. Hello, lovelies. Um, this is a message for the Black residents of Florida. Your governor, Ron DeSantis, has now told you and his administration has told you in very explicit terms how much he values your history and therefore how much he values Man. you. And the amount of that value. Shut your ass up. Are you serious? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care because he didn't want to say that it was OK to do this dumbass course to learn about something that has no effect on how you're going to have a job or have income. Right. What, what is college for right now, bro? Is zero. Ron DeSantis has decreed through his stop. Maybe I'm misunderstanding this. I don't see why the they're going crazy. History of African-Americans. As proposed to be taught in advanced classes, AP classes in Florida high schools is illegal. Because it violates Florida law, the Stop Woke Act. Let me see that real quick. Proposed to be taught in advanced classes, AP classes in Florida high schools, is illegal. course for breaking Florida's anti-CRT law. I'm not mad at him. Legal. Because it, it violates here. Florida law, the get Stop up, Woke get Act. Get it up out of here. And because it has quote no educational value. So a lot of people think I'm exaggerating when I say we are going down a road where many people in this country are going to try to legally bring back segregation. And who knows what after that? You know, what started with the CRT witch hunt, right? Labeling um, everything that's progressive as CRT, um, everything that's historically accurate as CRT, everything that's real experiences being discussed in classrooms as CRT, right, has now become Let's just let's just let's just ban blackness as a, as a whole. Right. Let's let's not even talk about uh, the reality of African-Americans. And I'm telling everyone wow. if you do not pay attention. If, you, if we're not all activated. Right. This right. Act has gone from CRT to this. Well Wait, this is activated. The Matrix is real. The Matrix is real. Activated. Oh, the Matrix is real, son. Let, let that be known. It's, it's real in the field for the Matrix. Let's, let's let that. Be, be straight up. It, 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 it's real. Matrix go crazy with it. Yikes. We'll go from this to something far worse. Don't far be a worse. bot. Okay, Ron DeSantis also uh, banned pornographic books in school, and they also melted down over that as well, too. We are a brand new Florida State High School that opened last year. This is our media center, or what should be our library. 
According to our district, it's finalized. No books. Now, what do we have so far? So the state of Florida says Yo, you Phil, cannot. This dude is crazy. <laughs> I disagree with almost everything he says, but I've seen this one clip for him that I might use and start using the clip whenever something crazy happened. But I think somebody got hit. <laughs> and the camera goes to him. This is my first time seeing him. My older brother was like, yo, you got to take a look at this weirdo. I was like, yeah, let me check. So then my first time seeing him, something crazy happened. He, he responds, he goes, <laughs> consequences, repercussions. <laughs> I was like, who is this guy? I looked, I was like, oh, he down with TYT. Makes so much sense. My brother was like, huh? I was like, yeah, look at the logo. The, the TYT logo right there is at the bottom. Makes perfect sense. But I was like, yo, who is this guy? <laughs> they was like, yo, come on here and laugh at the misfortunes of people on the right. <laughs> I was like, that's a job? Like, what? If, if somebody want to hire, hire, hire somebody to laugh at the misfortunes <laughs> of someone on the left. I'm not saying I'm your guy necessarily, but I might know a guy named Garfield who, who wants to take that job. Not teach but yeah, based on your so literature that one in the classroom. Guy. Now it is a felony. The already passed the Stop Woke Act, the Don't Say Gay Act, the Can't Teach African American Studies Act. Now, damn it, I mean what I'm about to say. Some teachers are going to have to get arrested for this to stop. And I promise you, if I was still a K through 12 educator, they would have had to lock my ass up before they ever took a book out of my classroom with my students. <laughs> shut your grifting ass up, consequences and repercussions. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. You're just saying stuff just to say stuff. At least they would have known what side I was on. Oh, now, I don't say that lightly because I know it's already difficult for what teachers have to go through on a regular basis. I was adopted by a school teacher. My mother is a school teacher. She saved my life. <laughs> he's a comedian. He's a, he's a straight comedian, bro. Get on to me. <laughs> I will forever straight laugh comedian. at that clip. Yeah, imagine almost melting down in tears over the fact that you can't have pornographic books in your class, okay? <laughs> Somebody needs to go investigate Dr. Richie, okay? Uh, I think this man may have some stuff on his laptop wow, that, that should be books. investigated, okay? Oh, he's in Hunter Biden books. territory, right? Um, <laughs> must have missed yeah. that detail. So again, these school districts, uh, oh, they wow. end up taking all the He's books out it. of uh, their schools preemptively. Uh, and then they blame Ron DeSantis because DeSantis said, hey, look, uh, we just want to make sure that all the books that are in class are actually verified and checked to make sure they're not pornographic or inappropriate. Sound and like, again, uh, they remove all the Sound like DeSantis is on it. <laughs> sound, like, sound like DeSantis is on it, boy. Sound like my man is, is working. He's doing the Lord's work. Books and they point their finger at Ron DeSantis and say, That's look, he's banning right. all books in class. Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. Um, so yeah, Ron DeSantis is once again pissing the wokes off because he is now coming out to higher education. <laughs> yes, sir. He's going for the... Um, yeah, I said he wanted a penthouse in, a, in, the, in kindergarten. That's crazy. Consequences and repercussions. That's why I'm going to keep calling him. He's crazy. Main perpetrators of woke indoctrination in this country uh, again, woke academia, as he is defunding diversity, equity, and inclusion in state-funded universities and also going out the tenure for underperforming college professors. Take a look. First thing that we're going to propose is we want to make sure that everybody that goes through a Florida university uh, has to take certain core course uh, requirements that's really focused on giving them the foundation so that they can think for themselves. And the core curriculum must be grounded in actual history the actual philosophy that has shaped Western civilization. Um, our institutions will be graduating students, I think, with degrees that are going to be meaningful. We don't want students to go through at taxpayer expense and graduate with a degree in zombie studies. And so this is going to make a difference. <laughs> okay. We this are also going to hearing. eliminate all... This is the first time I'm ever hearing this guy. I've heard of him, but never actually heard him speak. So this is my first time checking him out. This is a real blind reaction. DEI and CRT bureaucracies in the state of Florida, no funding, and that will wither on the vine. And I think that that's very important because it really serves as an ideological filter, a political filter. You've seen different things. I mean, New College has really embraced that. And that's part of the reason I think it hasn't been successful. <laughs> Great to be with you. Um, I'd like to talk a bit about DEI and what it really means, because many of you probably heard of it at first a few years ago. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. That sounds great. Include a wide range of people, treat people equally, 
and make sure that people of a variety of backgrounds feel included. Uh, but this is a lie. It is an Orwellian misuse of language that manipulates you into feeling that this is a good thing while under the surface it's something it's quite different. So I'm going to give you a bit of a, a very quick lesson in what it really means and what it looks like in universities. I've reported on it elsewhere, and I'm going to be starting to report on it here in Florida. Beginning on Thursday, I'll be releasing one report per week exposing what's really happening in these DEI departments here in the state. Um, I'm going to warn you, it's pretty ugly stuff. And the idea is quite simple. They take the ideologies of critical race theory, radical gender theory. They divide the world into oppressor and oppressed. And then they actually train students, faculty and staff members here in the state of Florida, that certain people are oppressors, certain people are oppressed. Um, they have scholarships that are racially segregated in which, for example, white students are barred from applying, um, which last I checked should be mm -hmm. illegal under the Civil Rights Act. And yet they're doing it. They're doing it very publicly uh, and they're proud of what they're doing. Yeah. So you see that you heard that. That is Ron DeSantis ex explaining uh, his higher education reform <laughs> in regards to uh, trying to rid wokeness out of, you know, higher education universities in Florida. He also brought Christopher Rufo along too, who uh, the left, uh, they hate him as well, too, because he's exposing the woke nonsense. He is kind of the guy that got all the CRT stuff uh, exposed in the first place. That and uh, again, of course, like I promise you guys, the woke revolutionaries can't stand this. They're losing their minds over this. Take a look. Yeah. They don't like yeah so not only is Ron DeSantis coming for education on a case. I already know where this is about to go. <laughs> I already know where this is heading. Let's hear what uh what Alvin from Alvin and Chipmunk gotta say. They they let Alvin get braids. Serious can't stand this. They're losing their minds. Take a look. Yeah, so not only is Ron DeSantis coming for education on a K-12 through level, he is also now targeting public state universities. He recently asked them to detail their diversity spending. And these 12 universities here in Florida were among the universities that he asked. He asked to see all the programs related to diversity, equity, inclusion, and critical race theory at these schools. And he also wanted to know if these programs are being funded with state money and how much. And let me tell you right now, at a lot of these schools, less than 1% of the state funding they receive is being put into these programs. And due to this inquiry, colleges and professors have been canceling courses just to be safe. At UCF alone, over 20 sociology courses had to be canceled. One school in particular that he has seriously targeted is a school with a relatively small population called New College. And when you go to New College's website and you see how they describe themselves as valuing equity and actively yeah. work. Did y'all say woman? Yeah. This person got a full on beard. This is, this is a woman? No, this ain't. Y'all said this a woman? This ain't a woman. This a woman? This not a woman. This not a woman. Don't do that to me. That's <laughs> that's crazy working toward eliminating hey, whatever 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 they are okay creating outcome disparities for underrepresented and underdeserved groups I know. it's no surprise as to I why know. he would target this school it's also important to note that relative to its very small population there are a decent amount of trans students that attend new college due to their dedication to diversity and inclusion and now mind you the census on that survey he sent out about diversity he also asked universities about whether or not they were providing gender affirming care and supporting their trans students and it doesn't end there in his targeted attack on new college the census appointed six new members to their board of trustees one being christopher f rufo a right-wing anti-civil rights advocate but wait Yep. All right, that's a dude. So we're confirmed in the chat. They said, nah, that's a dude. <laughs> Yo, the fact that I almost believe, like, oh, that is a, that is a woman. That's, that's somebody that think they transition. Okay, all right, that's on them. They grown, they grown. The fact that I believe that is hilarious, bro. Y'all, please get into this. In his mission statement for how he wants to transform the new college of Florida, Rufo stated is one of his bullet points that he wants to abolish diversity, equity, and inclusion and replace it with equality, merit, and color blindness. Like, what? At this point, what the census is doing in Florida is straight up fascism. There are no two ways about it. And what's so scary is that other states are going to wow. see what he's doing and they're going to try to adopt it. Not only that, he is trying to take this ideology and this rhetoric to the White House in 2024 and he has people supporting him. Absolutely not. Make sure y'all like, share, follow, and comment how you feel and stay <laughs> vigilant. Crazy. Yeah, so you see... Yeah, if he popped up on my TikTok, I, I would try to remove it from my algorithm. I don't know how TikTok work. I would hope it's like YouTube but you could be like, stop suggesting this person to me. Yeah, you heard that. Um... Wow. Right, <laughs> the woke revolutionary is a bitch that yeah, Ron say. DeSantis is trying to, I don't know, cut the fat. Hey, hit the like button if you haven't, guys. Hit the like button if you haven't yet. Out of college, which is something they should be happy about. And I'm going to uh, talk to you guys about that in, in a minute. Uh, but as you can see there, again, this guy's pissed at DeSantis. He's even more pissed that he hired Christopher Rufo to help uh, cut the fat off of higher education. Uh, so let's read just a little bit more here about what DeSantis is doing so you guys get a clear understanding of, of, of what's happening here. Uh, the request from DeSantis regarding DEI initiatives asks university administrators to include a brief description of each program, the total funding used to support the program, and the portion of the funding that came from taxpayer dollars. He added that DEI bureaucracies are hostile to academic freedom and constitute a drain on resources. 
Consultants and university officials often reap significant financial returns from their promotion of the DEI movement within secondary uh, institutions. An analysis from the Heritage Foundation found that colleges hire an average of three diversity staffers for every... I'm blind as hell trying to read this, bro. I'm glad he reading his out loud. I'm over here struggling. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm mean, I mean, smoking that green and green or... Or if it's because I really need glasses, bro. I got to go get my eyes checked out. 110 year faculty. Wow, wow. So again, you need three diversity staff staffers, right? AKA affirmative action hires uh, for every 100 tenure faculty. Again, doesn't sound very efficient to me. Uh, previous uh, legislation signed by DeSantis mandates performance reviews of tenure professors every five years. He announced further accountability for tenure uh, faculty by granting university presidents and trustees the power to call a post-tenure review at any time. I mean, this should be common sense, bro. Uh, I don't think anybody should be given a job for life, right? And not have their performance reviewed, okay? Uh, that's, that's serious. Yeah, that's crazy. You should have your performance reviewed. That, that is fine. Um, I'm just saying, um, you know, especially college professors, considering how, you know, academics and science and education evolves over time, Right. Uh, they should be up to date on the latest stuff. They should make sure that they're doing their jobs uh, appropriately. OK, quote, the most uh, significant dead weight cost at universities is typically unproductive tenure faculty. He said, why would we want to shadow you as taxpayers with that cost if we do not have to? The proposal came after uh, DeSantis oh. appointed a number of conservative officials to the new College of Florida Board of Trustees with the hope that the uh, public uh, liberal arts school would uh, likewise eliminate controversial ideologies. Among the appointees were Chris Rufo, a fellow with the Manhattan Institute and an activist who has vocally opposed critical race theory, as well as Matthew Spaulding, a constitutional government professor at Hillsdale College. DeSantis stressed promoting curricula that emphasize values and philosophy of Western uh, civilization. He also discussed the need for Florida to offer tr training courses for nurses, truck drivers, and other professions with shortages in the state and national economies. Quote, okay. You see the growth of uh, administrative bloat around the country with higher education and it dwarfs what, what they are doing. spending on people who actually teach our kids. They are not really improving the academic performance. He um, commented, they are expanding bureaucrats and administrative staff and trying to impose an agenda through that way. That is a failed model. And we want to make sure that that's not what's happening here in the state of Florida. Yeah. So I agree with Ron DeSantis on this and he's 100% right about why the cost of college is so bloated. You know, the woke revolutionaries complain so much about the cost of college. OK, and the fact that the cost of college has significantly outpaced inflation right mm -hmm. over the years and the uh, rise in uh, real income growth. Uh, well, again, the reason why is because of bloated. Yo, yeah, I said, <laughs> I'm looking at the live chat. I said, <laughs> I probably shouldn't even read that out. <laughs> he said, that was, I'm not reading it. Never mind, never mind. Yo, listen, if you want to catch the live chat, you need to, you need to catch the live chats, man. You need to make sure you alert. Uh, administration, right? right Bureaucrats that, that have basically That's been hired into these schools to do nothing, okay? Uh, and this is why college costs so much. Started. And guess who's paying for it? The taxpayers, right? So again, if the wokes are so mad All about right. the cost of college to the point where they want their student loan debt forgiven, they should be totally happy with cutting off the fat, right? You shouldn't be complaining about cutting off the fat and higher education uh, if you're so concerned about student loan debt, right? Uh, because again, both of those things are related. Okay, when you have all these programs and these degrees that have been offered by these universities that don't have a positive return on investment, well, what happens is that, again, that increases the cost of college. You got to pay more to go to school, right? So you can't say you want your student loan debt forgiven, but you don't sense. want the cost of college to go down. No, you can't have it that way, right? Taxpayers are paying for this stuff. In fact, I think Ron DeSantis should go further, right? I think he should eliminate or start to eliminate in, in state schools uh, any degree, okay, that, that's in a field um, that does not correlate to getting a, an actual good job right I that's crazy and i agree with it <laughs> yo Vin, no that's facts if you're going to go to college you should go for something that's going to help you in your career or your future not just because you want to go for fun like what man if you don't get up out of here with that you don't get up out of here with that i'm so serious okay like if, if students want to spend money to Girl, go get a degree in woke life, studies, bro, right? Bro. Like uh, gender studies or whatever, queer studies. If they want to do that, studies. fine. Go do that at a private college, right? A private college, okay? Uh, where you don't take taxpayer dollars. It's not taxpayer funded. And you can pay for it yourself. And hey, if it gets you a good job, it gets you a good job. I doubt it will, which means that that college probably won't exist, right? It won't last for too long, okay? Go do that, right? That, that's exactly what he, he needs to evaluate all the degrees, okay? That have been studied in these schools and figure out which ones are productive, which ones are leading to a positive return on investment for the government and which ones are not. And then you start to eliminate right. some of these, again, woke studies degrees uh, that are being given out by these schools in order to cut more of the fat, right? 
that will lower the cost of college. That'll allow more people to go to school and get a real education where they actually learn real skills. You better able them to get real jobs are actually going to pay them good money in the real world. It's a win-win. Uh, so again, I think Ron DeSantis should go further than this. Uh, but he's definitely uh, taking a step in the right direction. And I love to see the liberal meltdown over it. Love it. Let me just know what you guys think. Yeah, they tripping out. They tripping out, but it seems like he's uh, doing damn near the Lord's work. All right, but hey, maybe I'm wrong. Tell me in the comment section. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Go make sure you check out Black Conservative Perspective. Watch the video uninterrupted by me if you can, man. If you can. It's crazy out here. Also, check me out on Patreon or memberships if you're able to. If not, don't worry about it.